Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Harasaka. And I'm Matthew Girona. Today is Wednesday, November 13th, and we're here with your morning announcements. Library hours are now extended. The library opens at 7.30 a.m. on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, and will not close until 3.30 p.m. every day after school, except Monday when we're open until 4.15 p.m. for tutoring. Library is closed all day on Wednesdays. Ms. Barrett will be holding personal statement workshops in her classroom, HL7, for students who need to work on their Common App or UC Personal Insight questions are today, November 14th and 18th. If you want to be a leader for equity and social justice at COHS and in our school district, check out the Student Equity Council. They will help make changes on our campus, also meet up with groups from other high schools to help move, on, to help move our district ahead. Informational meetings will be held at both lunches today in HP2. Now let's pass it over to Austin and Kaylin for your In the News update. Hey there Wolfpack, I'm Caitlin Scholl. And I'm Austin Scherer, here with your In the News update. In local news, a fight occurred in the middle of a football game in Elk Grove High. The fight eventually led to the ejection of two Elk Grove students and one Oakmont student. No fatal injuries were reported and all are expected to be okay. In worldwide news, as part of a fundraising effort by the Moving Mountains for Multiple Myeloma, or MM for MM, a group of 13 advocates will be hiking through Patagonia to raise awareness. Multiple myeloma, also known as Collar's disease, is a rare form of cancer that leads to weakened bones and other negative effects. Good luck to the fundraisers and our hearts go out to all those who are affected by this unfortunate disease. After six months, the protests in Hong Kong still continue and have only grown worse. Police violence has peaked and reached a deadly level, peaking on Monday with a protester being shot in the chest at close range. The U.S. is working on passing a bill to support the protesters, but a Beijing representative has told the U.S. to back off before it's too late. In media news, many are pleased to hear that the Sonic movie has been redone with a new and improved Sonic model. The new trailer has been released and it is already getting praise for its new depiction of the iconic character. That's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Caitlin Scholl. And I'm Austin Scher. Let's, Let's speed, speed it back, back over, over to you, anchors. anchors. Thanks, Anchors. Hey, Wolfpack, we have an upcoming play called Woga. Woga is about a Filipino-American high school teen who wants to be a famous musician while he clashes with his mother's dream of him earning a high school diploma. Make sure to come out and support. Hey, Wolfpack, BSU meetings are every Wednesday during both lunches in HP10. Come out and support. To any freshmen, sophomores, or juniors, the boys' basketball team are looking for managers to help out during games this season. There will be an interview process, and training will take place once becoming a manager. If interested, please stop by HG5 to speak with Mr. Billings or contact head managers Amy Santos and Ian Cornish. Attention all APR and ceramic students, there is a mandatory meeting this Thursday, November 14th to go over the new portfolio requirements. Meeting starts right after school in rooms HF12 and ceramics, Mr. Sellis and Mr. McLaughlin. This is a reminder that outlet submissions are now open and will be open until December 3rd. Submit your piece using the link bit.ly backslash the outlet 2020 or by using this QR, this QR code. Remember, you can write about anything that's on your mind and it can be completely anonymous. We want your voice to be heard. Fall sports have nearly concluded and winter sports are gearing up for their seasons. As we approach this fall to winter sports transition, we would like to take a moment to acknowledge the hard work of our student athletes in the classroom. Overall, our fall sports averaged a 3.5 GPA. Congratulations to the following fall sports teams with the highest GPA. Third place teams with a 3.7 GPA. It is a tie between girls freshman volleyball and girls varsity volleyball team. Second place teams with a 3.8 GPA. It is a three-way tie between the cross country team, girls JV volleyball, and girls golf. First place team breaking their own team record from last year with a 4.1 GPA. Girls Tennis Team, nice job, CO, Fall Sports Teams. Way to rep represent CO proudly on the court, field, course, and classroom. That's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Matthew Girona. And I'm Harasaka. Remember, the strength of the wolf is the pack. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. <laughs> have, have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday, Wolfpack. Wolfpack.